anterior disc displacement without reduction. The disc has become amorphous, meaning that the shape of the disc lost its normal biconcave shape. And that posterior discal tissue is not tight anymore. So it cannot pull the disc backward. This is where, when we end up with having anterior disc displacement without reduction. Why? Because the condyle is not able to reduce back to its normal position. So what's gonna happen to the maximal opening? The disc is anterior, the condyle is moving, and the disc is always anterior to the condyle. Is the patient going to be able to achieve maximal opening? No, he's not, because there is a physical barrier in front of the condyle. And at the same time, the patients will have deviation during opening. As the patient opens, the mandible is gonna go this way. So if the patient has anterior disc displacement without reduction, of the right temporomandibular joint, the lateral pterygoid on the right side is not gonna be able to move the mandible to the left side. So patients with anterior disc displacement without reduction are going to have limited contralateral, where is the side that is affected, the right side, but he will not be able to move his mandible towards the left side. The condyle is resting in a tissue that is not structured to withstand the forces that the condyle usually exerts onto the disc. Inflammation happens and you end up with pains. It's a progressive condition. Once the disc becomes perforated, then the bone is gonna contact bone. You will hear that crackling sound. And bone to bone produces crepitation. 